Ha, I'm Tyler and I like Star Wars. If you ask anyone I know, hey, does Tyler like Star Wars? They'll be like, yeah, Tyler likes Star Wars. And he won't shut up about it. Because I have a problem, you see. When I was a little kid, my mom showed me these movies on a VHS called Star Wars. And then Empire Strikes Back and then Return of the Jedi. And Return of the Jedi was by far my favorite because I had these little furry things that were so cute and adorable. And then, uh, you know, a few years later, um, there was this another movie came out. It was called The Phantom Menace. And it had this little kid, and he was flying these, th th this giant pot thing in a race. And, 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 and then he hopped into this, like, yellow spaceship, and he went, woo, woo, woo. He did some spinning. It was a neat trick. And I loved it. And there was this guy who's kind of like a frog rabbit dude named Jar Jar Binks. And he was the coolest thing. I had a doll of Jar Jar Binks who had an alarm clock that came with him. And the alarm clock was a pit droid. And the doll would like say phrases when you, you know, squeezed him. Like, me said Jar Jar Binks. Me said thought the pity okay day with a brisket morning munch and blah, 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 blah. It was cool. And I loved it. And then Attack of the Clones came out, and we saw Anakin older. I'm like, yo, that is so cool. And then Revenge of the Sith came out, and it was the coolest thing ever. What I'm saying is, is that, one, I like the prequels. Two, because I grew up with them, and they were the coolest thing ever. Three, I love Star Wars. So, I want to make videos on my channel in which I talk about Star Wars, but I never know where to start. So, I think I would begin with Han Solo. Now, the Han Solo season just started on Battlefront. I know this because I am looking at the screen right now that says Han Solo season starts now. Jabba's palace modes and appearances incoming. Iron out the difference in Jabba's palace. Blah, 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 blah. Half last heroes, hero showdown. Justin Jones. Car racing. Battle of skill and the Starfighter custom arcade. So, ooh, that looks nice, Lando. Looking good. It's Lando Calrissian as a skiff god. So here's the thing. I was excited for the Solo movie. Really super excited. Even though they got Square Face McGee to play Han, who is a little bit on the short side and not very good, of a Han Solo impersonator. Uh, sorry, Harrison Ford impersonator. Personally, I would have preferred Anthony Ingruber. He, was play he once played a young Harrison Ford in the movie Age of Adeline. And I think he did a decent enough job. But, after The Last Jedi came out, my hopes for Star Wars were kind of crushed a bit. A lot. Um, this is the first time I can ever remember which my mom was not excited for a Star Wars film. And that's actually kind of sad to see. Because when we were kids, we would decorate the house for every Star Wars movie. We would hang lightsabers from the doorways. We would put up toys all over the house in packaging until my brother opened them and she was very upset. Uh, Yodas everywhere. We like our Yodas in this house. It's kind of insane. So to see her not excited for this movie is kind of sad, really. She just doesn't want to get excited and then have the same crushing disappointment that we had in The Last Jedi. And I'll cover The Last Jedi in another video. But today I'm talking about Han Solo. And now, personally, I love Han Solo from the Legends. I am a Star Wars book collector. I've read a lot of Star Wars books. Recently, I have been digging into this collector's edition of Star Wars Han Solo Trilogy. And this is a collection of three books. Um, I've read the first one. I've read a lot of Star Wars books. It's hard to keep track. And I was reading this one. I didn't actually remember it a lot. But the first one in here is the Paradise Snare. And this is before he's in the Imperial Navy. This is when he's trying to get into the Imperial Navy. And the second book goes into the Hut Gambit, in which he's already been kicked out of the Imperial Navy for saving Chewbacca the Wookiee. Now, the Han Solo movie is obviously taking a different approach. We see Han sign up for the Imperial Navy in one of the trailers. However, I think that is going to be a fake out. I think he is joining the Navy as part of this giant heist that they're doing. There's also a scene that Disney showed in which they're going up against this dude named Enfys Nest, and Han's all like, yo! Look at that freighter over there. We got like 30 armed guards in it. And so you better do what we say. Otherwise, we're going to kill you. And then Lando just goes, whoosh. Away with the Falcon. And then Han just kind of steps back and lets Woody Harrelson do his thing. I'm not... When, when I look at that, when, when I watch how the actor portrays Han, 
I don't really think he's doing a very good job. And again, I wish we had Anthony and Gruber. But Han Solo is one of my favorite characters. In Legends, he took his character arc went a completely different direction than what Disney took him. And I understand why Disney took that direction. Obviously, they can't make him this great father figure that he was previously, up until the death of Chewbacca, in which case he kind of shit on Anakin everywhere, and then Anakin went and sacrificed himself, and then Jason turned to the dark side, and I cried for the rest of my adolescent life. I missed Anakin Solo. I miss Anakin Skywalker. I don't actually know how to format videos well. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little mini rant. Um, I hope that we are able to enjoy Solo. Okay, I'm done. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. My handle is Blue Milk Drinker. Because I like blue milk. Because I like Star Wars. Bye!